strike force. Republican Robin Ficker served one term in the Maryland House of Delegates from 1979 to 1983. He's run unsuccessfully for Congress, Montgomery County Executive, and the County Council. Ficker is also a professional attorney who was recently disbarred. I asked what qualifies him to be Maryland's governor. Well, I've placed 25 matters on the ballot in Montgomery County, more or less been acting as governor in Montgomery County that have received 2,537,403 votes, more votes than Larry Hogan and Ben Jealous got put together. We got term limits through over the opposition of every elected Democrat, over the opposition of five Washington Post editorials. We got 70% of the vote. Robin, if you invited me over for dinner and we were just sitting down talking, shooting the breeze, what would we be talking about? Well, we'd be talking about the inflation rate being 8.6% and how I'm the only candidate for governor who wants to give people a tax cut. So let's talk more about what he would do for the Maryland economy. This gas tax inflation tax that people have talked about would save the average family only $50 a year. This two cent cut in the state sales tax amounts to $780 a year per household. It also sends out a word, a word to businesses across the country that, hey, Maryland is business friendly because no state has ever cut its state sales tax in U.S. history. So we'd be the first one. And how about Ficker's stance on abortion? I'm pro-life and I'm not going to sign a pro-abortion bill, but I'm realistic. I know that the Democrats have the votes to do pretty much what they want. I'm not going to be assisting them but uh, that's what's going to happen. And I asked about school resource officers. Does he believe there should be more or fewer? Well, I think we need to make sure our kids are safe. And if the parents want school resource officers, I'm in favor of it. Finally, I wanted to know how much he aligns or not with both Governor Hogan and former President Trump. Well, I get along with both Trump and Hogan voters because uh, I, I am broad-minded. I can disagree without being disagreeable. I've said nothing nasty as the other two have been doing against each other in the campaign. We need to unite the Maryland Republican Party. We, we're only 25% of the voters. We need, we need to unite and win this time. With Republican gubernatorial candidate Robin Ficker in Silver Spring, Adam Longo, WUSA 9. We invited Republican gubernatorial candidate Dan Cox to talk with us about the issues, but we have not heard back from him or his campaign, but our invitation remains open.